and welcome back to my channel. So two of my favorite things in life are barbecues and theater. And recently I was actually able to combine these two things into one fantastic night. So my dad actually surprised me with tickets to a show in Santa Monica and we started out the night at Wood Ranch. So when we first got to Wood Ranch, we quickly found street parking. Valet parking was also available and the valet parking does have accessible spots available upon request. And the ramp into the restaurant was really smooth and easy to climb in my wheelchair. And inside they had a variety of different types of accessible seating available. They even had a lowered section of the bar for wheelchair users. So after having a fantastic, delicious meal, very delicious may I say, we headed on over to the Ruskin Theater for a performance of A View from the Bridge by Arthur Miller. The play follows Eddie Carbone, a hardworking longshoreman, as he reveals his dogmatic side while attempting to protect his family. The play takes place in post-World War II Brooklyn in a predominantly Italian-American neighborhood and explores the relationship between illegal Italian immigrants and the families that host them. Both the immigrants and the Americans are searching for a better life for their families. And the play reveals what can happen when doubt, prejudice, and distrust encroaches on these relationships. When Eddie and his family start to host two Italian immigrants, one of the immigrants starts a relationship with his adopted daughter, who he is very protective of. Eddie is under the impression that this boy is using his daughter for a visa and that something is just playing off about him. As tensions grow, an ominous tone lingers throughout the play, keeping the audience on the edge of their seats. The play showcased a stunningly talented cast and the stellar skills of the director. The play ends its run on October 8th, so definitely grab tickets while they're still available. I definitely recommend seeing this play. It was fantastic. So regarding the accessibility of the Ruskin Theater, overall, it's pretty accessible. There is a lowered box office window, so it's very easy to get your tickets once you arrive. If you do use a wheelchair, there's also wheelchair accessible parking right by the main entrance. The lobby was also pretty accessible. It was a little tight, to navigate in my wheelchair, but I was able to access the snacks and the drinks that were available for patrons. So that was pretty great. The only thing is that I could not locate a wheelchair accessible bathroom. They do have bathrooms for guests, but the bathroom they do have is really tight. Like I would not be able to fit my wheelchair in there. So that is the only thing that I would say causes quite a bit of a problem if you are a guest attending a show at the Ruskin and you use a wheelchair. So I would definitely recommend using the bathroom prior to going to the show. Um, there are restaurants in really close proximity to the Ruskin. So maybe you like go to dinner close by, use the restroom there and then go to the show. Um, but other than that, the lobby and all that was pretty accessible. And then the accessible wheelchair seating is on the back right side of the theater. So in order to access the accessible seating, one of the ushers will take you around to the back of the building through a side door. And that's how you will end up um, entering the theater and accessing your seats. The only kind of weird thing about the wheelchair seating at this theater is that it's really difficult to park your chair in the spot that is actually assigned for someone in a wheelchair. My wheelchair did not fit in the spot, so I ended up having to sit next to the chair I was actually assigned to. Um, yeah, the spot is made for probably the size of like a typical manual chair, and my wheelchair is a little bit longer, but even if you were in a typical manual chair, you wouldn't be able to pull in the spot and then turn to your right which is what's required in order to see the stage. So the wheelchair seating is definitely not the best, but the way that I parked did allow me to see the entire stage, 
Um, if you remember last time, and I'll leave a link to this video above here, but the last time I attended a show at the Ruskin, my view was partially blocked by some of the set that was built on the stage because of where I had to park my wheelchair since I didn't fit within the actual assigned spot. But this time, I was able to see the entire stage and it was fantastic. Um, and like I said, the play was phenomenal. Um, the only also kind of weird thing, but this was just, I think, more a director's choice or blocking issue. I'm not really sure, but a large portion of the seats had their view blocked by actors during pretty important climactic scenes. So, I mean, it wasn't just the accessible section, it was like an entire half of the theater. So that was kind of weird, but um, I mean, we were all still able to enjoy the play and understand what happened. So it was okay, but that was a little bit disappointing. But outside of that, the play was fantastic. All right, well, that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed today's content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that little bell button down below to receive a notification the next time I upload a video. I hope you have a phenomenal day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. What is that noise? It's like it's squeaking. Weird really weird squeaking noise.